Hello traders, Gary Wagner here, just about 11.40 in Honolulu, 4.40 in New York. It is Tuesday, 17th day of December, 2019, and this is uh, the Daily Report for Gold and Silver. Although equities gained fractionally, they did close at a new all-time record high. And in light of that and dollar strength today, we see some resilience in gold, which was trading fractionally lower in the morning part and is now trading fractionally higher on the day. That being said, there seems to be a renewed concern about the trade war. We had the Dallas Federal Reserve president come out today and talk about the fact that he believed that this trade war in terms of the big issues would be with us for at least a couple of years. This was no quick fix. That being said, equities continue to be fueled by positive market sentiment and gold continues to struggle, but be very resilient. On today's show, I do want to take a look at a chart pattern which has been unfolding, but first, let's take a look at current pricing. With the exception of gold, the rest of the precious metals complex is trading lower on the day. Gold was trading fractionally lower throughout the day, down about a dollar, the low being 78.40. Currently, we are at 1480.70, putting it up about 20 cents on the day. Platinum did lose about a dollar today, about a tenth of a percent, still above 900 at $930.30. Silver also traded lower, about three tenths lower, giving up about five cents, but still trading above $17 at 1706. The big exception to the downside today was palladium, dropping about $35.60 at 1928 per ounce. And all of the precious metals, of course, had a negative impact with dollar strength today, up almost two tenths of a percent at 96.76. And lastly, although fractionally higher, we did see all time record closes in the Dow, the Standard and Poor's, as well as the NASDAQ composite. Let's take a look at our technical studies. As we get closer and closer to the Christmas holiday, we are seeing volume starting to really thin out and the last two trading days in gold are definitely showing that with very, very tight trading ranges. You can see that right here with these two dojis. The second thing that we must acknowledge is that we continue to see strong resistance at the 50 day moving average and that has been in play since about the 3rd of December. Now, we do have about, what, four occasions in which gold traded above this moving average, but in each occasion, it did close below it. So we do see some significant resistance there. That being said, we have identified a pattern, which is basically a flag or a pennant formation, and let's go ahead and take a look at that. The pattern that we're looking at, which is basically a pennant or a flag formation, has really been unfolding for quite some time since the market reached the apex this year, the highest trading point at 1565. We have definitely seen a series of lower highs. Now, at first, the market had kind of a parallel move down. However, when we started to hit these lows and had a series of higher lows, which really we can see the occurrence quite easily here, here, and here. And these are really the, the price points which are forming the lower support trend line, creating this pennant formation. What we are getting is a compressing range and the possibility that as this market reaches the apex, we could see a release of energy and a strong move either to the upside or downside. However, in this type of formation, you look at prevalent trend direction, which really has been up. And so you would look for a break to the upside. That being said, we've got to see gold move above the 50 day moving average before we really get any kind of real bullish sentiment. And for right now, I recommend that we maintain our current neutral stance and flat positions in gold. This has been Gary Wagner, wishing you as always good trading. We will talk to you tomorrow for the next daily update and review. Bye-bye.